it wasn't too many years ago that Northampton was named America's number one small art city. The number one small art city in the United States of America. Well, this park is a jewel in the crown of this city. And it is not just a park. It is actually a work of art. All of these things say welcome to Northampton. This is a city that cares about its environment and the way it can contribute to a healthy regional ecosystem. Movable furniture in the plaza, a 50-foot long urban lounge, an expansive south-facing lawn, festive string lights, a nature play area. They all support the lively social scene, but they also give you flexibility and options for how you want to use the park. And the new materials of the park reflect the history and culture of the city. Industrial rolling carts that people are sitting on in the plaza, rusty steel, they're all a nod to your Milltown heritage. The granite blocks over there, they're salvaged from an old mill in Central Mass. The water feature, the seat walls from Goshen Stone, they reflect the geology and the great legacy of the farm walls built as you move west through the valley. And the play area, black locust logs for the kids to climb on. Those grow on the banks of the Connecticut River. Probably the most important monument in the park is behind us. It's the, um, it's the Pulaski Monument. Um, in 1929, the Northampton Polish American Societies donated the, the General Pulaski Monument uh, to the city of Northampton on what was then uh, General Pulaski's 150th anniversary, uh, or the 150th anniversary of his death. Every element in this park, visible and invisible, is considered, it's authentic, and it represents a sense of place. And so with that, I want to close with an excerpt from Langston Hughes' poem, Freedom's Plow. He said, the eyes see their materials for building, see the difficulties too, and the obstacles. The mind seeks solutions to the obstacles. Then the hand seeks the tools to till the soil, to cut the wood, to harness the power of the waters. So that one man's dream is not just his dream alone, but his dream and your dream and our dream, a dream belonging to all the hands that help, all the hands that build the community, a community of hands that help. Park is an incredible asset to the city, residents, and visitors, and it is a testament to the power of collaborative effort. Everybody wins today. So I only have one last thing to say. As the 44th mayor of Northampton in the year 2016, it is my honor and privilege to hereby officially declare Pulaski Park reopened. Enjoy! Yeah!